Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a quick AOS video. You're going to get three videos in one day. This is pretty awesome Wednesday. Um, so, as everyone who has watched my Age of Sigmar video will know, and I'll figure out how to put one of those little card things up so you know which video I'm referring to, I, <laughs> I somehow missed out on one of the big four Chaos Gods, and frankly I'm a little embarrassed about this. I don't quite know how that happened. I could have sworn I did talk about him, but yeah, few of you very well spotted that I had missed out on the Lord of Decay. And I felt it was a bit of a bad blow, and well, in the spirit of uh, Covid and all that uh, diseasey nonsense, I thought I would just do a quick video on Nurgle, just to bring you all up to speed. I'll put a little link on the uh, Age of Sigma video as well, so that roughly where the Chaos Gods are, you will also see a little card come up for Nurgle, so yeah, I'll make sure I add that at some point today. So, Nurgle, the Lord of Decay. The Chaos God of Plague, Pestilence, Disease, and all that wonderful germy stuff. Nurgle is indeed one of the four great Chaos Gods in 40k, and fifth, I guess, when you include the Horned Rat in the Age of Sigmar pantheon, as it goes. And Nurgle is all about the corruption. If something has life, Nurgle wants it to decay. He wants it to erode. But never destroy. Nurgle is very keen on not destroying things. In a weird way, Nurgle keeps things alive. If someone was, for example, dying of a uh, horrible wasting disease, let's say the Black Death. If this was set in our world and people were suffering from the Black Death, as they did back in ye olde times, and they prayed to Nurgle and basically said, please, for the love of, <laughs> for the love of chaos, could you stop me from dying from the Black Death? Nurgle, depending on his mood, as he is a fairly jovial, friendly Chaos God, as Chaos Gods go, that is friendly in that he will smile and be kind whilst watching the flesh melt off your bones kind of way, he will grant you your request. You will become healed, sort of. The Black Death won't go from you, but your body will continue to work, continue to function. You will be able to have an increased toughness and resilience to pain, disease, and all the earthly things that would normally rack your body with issues. And each new blessing, quote unquote, which is a new kind of plague that Noga will grant upon you, you will become tougher and stronger still. This is why the followers of Nurgle are, on the most part, really tough. Even if their innards are spilling out and their flesh is partially decayed from their bodies, they still have the toughness and resilience to shrug off wounds that, frankly, would cripple and destroy most normal mortals. And Nurgle demons have a similar kind of uh, aesthetic and toughness. This is, yeah, this is one of the hallmarks of Nurgle, and it is one of the reasons why people refer to Nurgle as um, Grandfather Nurgle, or Father Nurgle, or Papa Nurgle, as some people jokingly say, because Nurgle seems to care, kind of, about his followers. It's a very strange relationship that people have with Nurgle. I think it's fair to say that out of the four Chaos Gods, classic Chaos Gods, Korn, Saesh, Zinch, and Nurgle. Nurgle has a more paternal instinct towards his worshippers in that he is trying to keep them alive. He's not trying to lessen their suffering, he's not trying to give them happier lives, but he wants them to remain alive. Because for Nurgle, death is the end to corruption. He doesn't want you to die, he wants you to live, and to live in that misery and despair and that horrible place where you are ill for the rest of your life, but unable to die. And your condition only gets worse, but you will be unable to escape it. And it is because of this reason that in Age of Sigma, Nurgle is obsessed with the realm of life. And this is why the poor, poor Sylvaneth and the denizens of the realm of life are constantly fighting the Nurgle demons and warbands that follow the that follow this rather unpleasant deity. 
because Nurgle just wants to corrupt it all. He wants to take the flourishing life that is around and make it rot and decay, and make it into essentially a new garden of Nurgle, where everything is poisonous, everything bites you, and everything is, uh, well, it's a pretty horrendous existence, let's put it that way. And it's only thanks to the rebirth of Alariel that Nurgle has been pushed back somewhat from this realm, although not without a great deal of sacrifice and cost. If you play Nurgle, you're playing Nurgle because you like a bit of the grim and gross, and you also really enjoy a tough, tough, tough army. It's not going to be the fastest army you've ever played, because these bloated, fat and swollen bodies full of disease, pus, mucus, and all kinds of unpleasantness aren't that quick, but they can take one hell of a beating, and when they get to you, they're going to dish it out in all kinds of extremities. And, you know, poisons attacks, and diseases, and crippling spells, and yeah, that's going to mess you up something horrid. Anyway, this was the quick intro to Nurgle, to follow on from the Age of Sigmar video, so I hope you all enjoy it. Please leave a like and a comment below, and I hope to hear from you all soon. Take care, everyone.